Here I was looking for a wrench to take this nut off, and it just was well, just finger tighted on there. I don't know if that's right or not. Doesn't seem right. All right, so you got to remove the pulley, and there's a there's a key here somewhere. It's on this right down here. Okay, it does come off. And there's the key. You gotta hang on to that. So I'll put both of these. I'll put the key inside the pulley. I'll put that down here on my shelf. And next we need to uh, remove the snap ring inside here. Then a washer. Oh, there's a washer there too. Put that with that pulley. All right, I gotta see. I I don't know if I've got any snap ring pliers anywhere. I'm gonna go look. If I don't, I'm gonna I may have to go buy some or, or make do here. Well, I don't have a pair of snap ring pliers, but I got these uh, a pair of these industrial scissors. You know, they'll cut small small uh, gauges of metal. I can get those into the two holes there, and if I can keep it keep it in there. Hopefully I can compress that ring enough to get it out. Oh, I'm close, really close. Try this again here. I need a little screwdriver. I, I can compress it enough. I just need to get a screwdriver behind it and get it pried out. There we go. Oh, I don't want that thing flying off into my face here either. There she goes. <laughs> All right, got her off. Okay, remove the snap ring from each of the two shafts. All right, so I spun it 180 degrees and I've got to remove the, this cover here.
Okay. Yeah, these this snap ring has to be has to be pried out. Sometimes you can do that with a screwdriver. I'm going to try it and see if I can pry them out and get them off. Needing the right tool for the job here, and I don't have it. Oh, oh never mind. I got it. Spin this one around. Alright, with a little luck I got that one off. I'm going to definitely need a snap ring player, I think, to put it back on. Alright, so now i got to take this, take this tensioner off. Take these off. Lay them down here. This is on the right side. You want to loosen okay. up the socket head screws here. That's the right size wrench either. It's a little loose. Maybe this is metric. Pull the gearbox back, but do not completely disconnect it from the machine. So I'm going to thread these back in. About one turn anyway. We're not coming back. Okay, what they don't tell you is on the front side is your uh, switch for finishing cuts and dimensioning. I had it in finishing and that was that's what was locking it in place and when I flipped it over that kicked it out as easy as can be. So that's, that's uh, something that should be in the directions. All right, so now I got it loose. And I see what they mean by not removing it completely. There's a little stem on there that uh, will keep it from coming all the way out. You just leave that attached. Okay, so now I want to I want to uh, get a block of wood and hammer this hammer this out. See what I got laying around here. <laughs> <laughs> 